back, everybody. My next guest tonight is going to be appearing at the Montreal Comedy Festival, July 22nd through the 24th. Please welcome a very funny guy, Dwayne Perkins. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> All right. I'm going to tell you guys, I don't, uh, I don't drink, but my friends don't respect that. You know, I tell my friends I don't drink because alcoholism runs in my family, and you think they would understand, but every time we hang out, it's always the same thing, you know? They're always like, yo, Dwayne, <laughs> yo, I know you don't drink, right? You know what I'm saying? I know you don't drink, but you're going to get drunk tonight, boy. <laughs> I'm saying we got Budweiser, we got Heineken. I'm like, get off my back. What if I had a different problem? They still wouldn't care, you know? They'd be like, yo, Dwayne, come here, come here. I know you lactose intolerant, right? <laughs> but you're going to drink some milk tonight, boy. <laughs> I'm saying we got Cocoa Puffs, we got brownies, man. So I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn's pretty tough. Yeah, it's never... It's never too late, though. It's never too late. My cousin Calvin from Brooklyn, he spent seven years in jail. And uh, while he's in jail, took courses, he got his college degree in jail. Graduated top of his jail class. We're so proud of him. <laughs> he made the warden's list, so we were just thrilled. <laughs> so my cousin Calvin got out of jail with his degree, and in two weeks, he got a job at a bank. Huh? <laughs> How you like him now? No, I'm just teasing you. He didn't get a job at a bank. He, he did a bank job, is what I <laughs> meant to say. Well, you know, he wanted to go back and get his master's degree, so... But it was messed up because uh, when he went back in, they sent him to a different jail and his credits didn't transfer. He had to start all over again. <sighs> a lot of beautiful women I saw walking around today. Ladies, you know how you have that guy friend that you like a lot? A whole lot, but not that way. <laughs> yeah, you ladies have that friend, right? It's wrong, all right? <laughs> because if the guy hangs out with you, you know he likes you. I mean, why else would you put up with your talking? <laughs> Let me tell you something, ladies. When you have a guy friend and he's a great guy and you still won't date him, you know what that's like for the guy? It's like going on a job interview, right? And having a guy say this to you. Well, Mr. Perkins, wow, this is a great resume. You have the experience we've been looking for. We love your attitude. <laughs> You're perfect for this job. <laughs> and we're not going to hire you. <laughs> no, no, we'll probably hire someone who's far less qualified and has a drinking problem. But this is a great resume. In fact, this is the resume we're going to use to judge all the other candidates. <laughs> now, we're not going to hire you ever. But is it okay if we call you every now and then to complain about the guy we do hire? Can we do that? <laughs> I was in Chicago two weeks ago, and uh, my room wasn't ready. So I went to the lobby. And, uh, you know, in a hotel and fell asleep on a couch. Security guard wakes me up and tells me I can't sleep on a couch. I'm like, you know, what's wrong? What's the problem? He goes, well, we get a lot of homeless people in here and you can't be on the couch. And I was like, what? I looked at what I was wearing. I was dressed up. I was like, do I look homeless? But then I thought about it. You know what? It could have been my first day of homelessness. <laughs> you know, see, because on your first day of homelessness, you don't look that homeless. You don't stink yet, your hair's not matted down, you don't have the imaginary friend. It's day one. <laughs> and it's, you know, it's really hard to get money on that first day too. You know, because you're walking around, is there some change for the homeless? You don't look homeless. It's my first day. <laughs> I tell you guys, I love rap music. I wanted to be a rapper. I don't think I'm tough enough to be a rapper. Like, I see the rappers on TV, they're pretty scary. Every time you see them, you know, they're always like, yo, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing rap music, so I won't have to do what I was doing before. Yeah, because if I wasn't doing rap music, I'd be robbing your house right now. <laughs> and I used to be a computer programmer, so you don't got to be scared of me, you know what I mean? <laughs> what am I going to say, right? Yo, yo, I'm doing rap music, so I won't have to do what I was doing before. You know what I'm saying? Because if I wasn't doing rap music, I'd be designing websites right now. <laughs> and you, 
You know how the rappers have a big East Coast, West Coast thing? When am I going to start a big Macintosh, IBM war, you know? <laughs> you see me on TV? Yo, yo, all y'all punk Macintosh users out there, you know what I'm saying? When I see you on the street, I'm formatting your hard drive. Uh. And thanks a lot. You guys have been great. I'm a great person. That was great. Thank you. Thank you. Dwayne Perkins, everybody. We'll take a break.